welcome back to Get The Gloss. Today I'm going to talk to you about the products that I think are the best buys for under £10. There are some really, really amazing products on the market at the moment and um, when you go into Boots there are some products that I think are just as good as some of the ones like in Harvey Nichols and the Selfridges, etc, etc. And the um, less expensive makeup brands have really, really caught up in terms of technology and pigment of colour and yeah, just some really cool stuff out there. So I was going to um, share with you the ones I think are really, really good. Okay, so first of all, um, these are the sort of the latest things by the way because um, I think I did one before. Um, so these are the sort of newer things that I love. So first of all, um, Bourjois are doing some really incredible things. Their foundation is brilliant, their little cream blushes are brilliant. Uh, the latest thing I love are these Colour Boost lip crayons. Now, um, Clinique came up with the chubby stick, which everybody loves, but uh, these are all just really great as well. Um, this is a bright, like, coral. This is like a bright sort of pinky colour. And also, I love the ones you can twist up. And these twist up. So no annoying sharpener that you need. They are fantastic, love those. Okay, next up, now this brand is great. It is called Sleek Makeup. And this palette is, I think, brilliant. Uh, and sometimes all you need in your makeup bag um, it contains these different eyeshadows, so it contains like a neutrally one for the day, um, a darker, slightly shimmery one for night, and this one is a bit more matte. Uh, and then it contains um, a sort of pink, slightly shimmery blush, and this one is like a sort of a bit more of an apricot blush. So there's something here for everyone, and that's a sort of very nude, I would use that um, either in the day or as a sort of eyeshadow base. You can barely see it. Um, but I think that's an absolute bargain for under £10. Uh, let's have a quick look at this. I always apply everything with my fingers, even though it's got brushes. <laughs> um, yeah, really good. Really good. I mean, there's no need to spend loads of money on something when you can get something as amazing as that. Okay. Brilliant. Now Topshop, I absolutely love their makeup. It's super cool. Um, a brilliant makeup artist called Hannah Murray does all the campaigns and is involved with the brands. She's one of the best um, makeup artists in the world at the moment. Really up and coming, really amazing. And uh, their lipsticks are becoming famous for just being amazing. They've got an amazing texture, amazing pigment. Look at that amazing. I'm not going to put that on because I look horrendous in colours like that. Uh, but these nudes as well, there's a pinky colour here. Well, sorry, it's not really a nude, but it's a pink. And this nude are also just really like sort of spot on colours for, um, for spring. So really amazing. Everyone should own a Topshop lipstick. Oh, and all the prices are going to be below this vlog, by the way. Um, all the makeup artists say that Max Factor mascaras are just as good as the much more expensive ones, and I totally agree. Um, I'm wearing this today. Um, it's They're awesome mascaras, they really are. This one has got one of those brushes that is... Um, it's, not bri it's not the bristles, it's made, you know, out of sort of like a plastic mould. Um, the little brushes that I think are great for getting right to the base of the lashes, separating, elongating. Sorry, did I say it's the Masterpiece Max mascara? Um, I think just as good as any of the ones that are, that are much higher price point. So, amazing. Um, right, next up, this baby. If you haven't got this, you've got to get one. It um, basically dissolves your nail varnish in like a second. It actually says on it one second. So what you do is you get your uh, finger, you put it in, you twist, oh sorry, hang on, show you, nail varnish, you put it in, right, you twist it around like this, gone. Genius! 
absolutely amazing. Now, and I've never done this too, but this little sponge you can use on your feet as well. You can use it on both hands and feet. Yeah, use that on your toe. Amazing, or toes, which is really clever. It's the quickest way of getting rid of uh, nail varnish. And it isn't like sticky, doesn't leave the rest of your fingers sticky, leaves them dry, not too dry. Brilliant. Okay, I'm a big fan of um, eye makeup removers. We don't have to spend loads of money. I just don't believe in paying like 30 pounds for an eye makeup remover. I use Nivea and I use Simple. This one is extra gentle eye makeup remover. Um, I know Lisa Eldridge has spoken about this before, amazing makeup artist, because I've seen it on her, uh, her blog. And um, yes, it's one of those non-oily ones. I don't like the oily ones because I feel that I can't really see afterwards because they get in my eyes. Don't really like that. Uh, this one is extra gentle, so if your eyes are sensitive, it's perfect. It just might take a bit longer if you've got waterproof mascara on for getting that off. But I think this is like £3.50 or something, so that's fantastic. Okay, next up is argan oil. Right, there's a lot of fuss about argan oil that's come from Morocco and sort of Moroccan um, hair oil, basically. There is a Moroccan hair oil brand, and I think this is the next best thing for under £10. Um, you use little drops of it um, on damp hair after you've washed your hair and it just makes hair smoother and much easier to manage. Um, it's a fraction of the price of more expensive oils and I think just as good. So that's great. Uh, next up, Sesh Vite, a brilliant product. Now the difference between, I think, uh, doing your own nails and it looking like you're doing your, you've done your own nails and them looking like you've had them done in a salon is an amazing top coat. Now this is an amazing top coat. Basically you put it over your nail varnish and it not only dries it in like literally, I think about 30 seconds, your nail varnish feels dry, at least it's touch dry, but um, also it makes them really shiny. And a lot of people always say to me, where do you get your nails done? I barely never get my nails done because I just don't have time. I just use this. Plus it keeps your nail varnish on for much longer. Uh, so if you complain all the time about your nail varnish chipping, you need this. Okay, uh, talking of nails, I speak about them all the time, Essie. Favourite nail colour, sorry, favourite nail brand, and this actually is one of my favourite nail colours at the moment. This one is, oh, Russian Roulette. Yeah, that's quite a famous red of theirs, I believe. And another favourite one at the moment is this sort of grey-blue colour, which is called the Perfect Cover-Up. I love their colours because they're just really spot on. They, um, it's almost like they take, they are colours of the moment in fashion and interiors and that sort of thing. Not just colours that nail salons think we should wear. They're just very modern in that they sort of, um, colours of the moment. I think that's why I really like them. Plus they're quite low on shimmer, um, just colour. Love them. I just think they're just modern. Um, and last but not least, got to talk about this amazing brand. Um, I'm quite late to the party when it comes to Kiko. This brand is from Milan. Uh, and to be honest, it's amazing. I went into the store near Oxford Circus the other day and what you can get for under £10 is really phenomenal. I, 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 I just, I bought a load of stuff. This is a soft focus concealer. It's for use under the eyes, around the nose. I put it on spots. Um, it's in O2. Um, it's not like Touche Clat, it's more of a concealer. And then this is one of their lipsticks. It's a sheer sort of nudie colour. Um, I'll put it on, hang on. I just think this brand is as good as any of the higher price point brands. Sorry, I was wearing this colour already. Um, it's really impressive. They've got amazing foundations, um, blushes, cream blushes, you name it, they've got it. It's come from Italy um, and it's a fraction of the price of really expensive brands, but the quality is amazing. So if you're near Oxford Circus, make sure you don't go there without visiting this shop. 
And that's it, that's my top 10 for under £10. Um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please tell me your recommendations of your favourite products for under £10. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to Get The Gloss TV. Thank you, and see you soon. Bye, guys.